Okay. Mm. There we go. Okay. Hello, everyone. I just tried to do this and kind of screwed it up. So hope that you can see this. <laughs> so we're going to make a Kentucky buck. So it's a little play on words, right? Because um, here's my, here's my, my hubbers. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so David is, um, what are you? A lover of bucks. I'm a Scorpio. Oh. And a guy who makes a Kentucky buck. It's true. The other thing is we, um, we like Kentucky bucks and you can go for it, David. Right. Um, so hello from Sacramento. Hello. Hello. Everybody saying hi, David. Hi. So, um. So there's actually a difference. David discovered Kentucky Bucks. I don't even know how you discovered it. David discovered mixology not that long ago. We had one at a restaurant. Oh, we did? Make that at home. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. Probably, probably had too many started. Kentucky Bucks. <laughs> um, so David, I remember at a party we had, it was so funny because he had just discovered Kentucky Bucks, and I'll show you what fine. So it's David's... You got me doing the lemon here? Yeah, so he's, I've right. got you doing the lemon. So right. David's squeezing the lemon into the shaker. And so far. there you go, your lemon juice. But he was making this at home, and it was the wrong time to do it because we had a party, and he brought me up a Kentucky Buck. And everybody was like, I, I want a Kentucky Buck. Yeah, I, I can't show you both. And um, actually, we can. So, yeah, what do you have there? One sliced strawberry. Sliced strawberry. And it takes a little while, as you can see, to do these things. So when, I, when he went up there and um, brought me a Kentucky Buck, everybody wanted one from him. So now he's cut these pretty frequently. So here's some agave. A little bit of agave. A little bit of agave. Just a taste. Just a taste. And that, was one that wasn't one strawberry, was it? That was just one strawberry. Organic strawberry. So you got that. One strawberry. This is the best way to get strawberries. I and want now, more than one. You muddle strawberry. away. And then you muddle. So a Kentucky Buck, technically, for the person who just asked, is means that it's some kind of cocktail made with some kind of beer. And beer doesn't necessarily mean um, alcoholic beer. It means like ginger beer or something like ginger beer. Like that. Wait, this is can't. what we're using. There you go. So ginger beer. Right? And so that's what makes a buck. What makes, an, what makes, a, what makes a mule? Uh, I don't remember what makes a mule. I haven't made a Moscow mule yet. Yes. But so it's a similar thing. Another cocktail that we've made is, or oh, that we've drunk. I don't think you've made it is a Moscow mule. And so obviously that means that there's vodka where uh, Kentucky being from Kentucky, it would be bourbon. So you've got uh, lemon juice, bourbon, um, strawberries, agave, yeah. and the ginger beer. That's pretty much it. And a lot of ice. And when David first made this too, it was hilarious because, whoa, he had none of these accoutrements. And now he's got the accoutrement. Show them your fancy shaking. Wait, I didn't shake there. <laughs> got it. Got it. So wait, shake it up. Shake it, shake it. Okay. Wow. Is there no top to that? Or are you just are that's improvising? Oh, okay. No, that's how it works. I don't know. You actually, these are a bit nicer than the ones that come with a steel top. Oh, really? Because it's easier to get the, pint, the glass, pint glass out of the top. Oh. I used to have one that had the steel lid, but when you put ice in it, it all gets cold and it gets really hard to get the lid off. Oh, okay. So I started using this. Oh, okay. That's awesome. So, okay. And then he pours it in and hello, strawberries. This is how I get my strawberries. And then the ginger beer goes in last. So just kind of tap it off. Just tap it off with some ginger beer. And so you've got your, and then your awesome stir, which you didn't have the first time you made No, that was also, you couldn't use a standard spoon possibly. You need a 10 foot long. A couturement means it's not, it's not bought at Walmart. You can buy it at Walmart. You can buy a, um, you can buy these things at Walmart. These are cocktail things. Everyone drinks cocktails. Mm. Really good. That's good. Yeah, good. Okay. Right I'm going to have one too. Okay. Mm. Now, normally I'll put a garnish on there. I'll put a little little slice garnish, of like that. little mouth. Wait a minute. All right, now I'll show for real, because that's fake. <laughs> what do you mean for real? Go ahead, go make your own. I'm not the one. only one okay. having one. Look, there's two glasses there. All right. Do you guys have any questions? Can you pass me one through the periscope? Yes, she would like one. Here you go. Drink up. Drink, 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 drink. And there you go. How's that? How's that? Mm -hmm. Cheers. I still think you need more than one strawberry. Okay. So I sometimes put two in. Two? Two strawberries? Yeah, depends on how big the strawberries. Yeah, a little crazy. 
That's like um, it's a little crazy. Okay. This. And then, and also, we didn't have uh, bourbon. We were afraid we weren't gonna have. We didn't have bourbon, so um, we, we do had have bourbon, some rye. But we had some rye as well. So rye can work as well. I think I think rum would go well with this as well. I mean, whatever. It's rum goes great with ginger. And show them your muddler. There's your muddler, which he did not have the first time. No. Nope. <laughs> so it's long. It's just a long instrument that has, it's, it's kind of what? It's bumpy at the end. It's bumpy, so it easily uh, mashes whatever it is you're ma mashing. Yep. But mashing isn't the word you'd use. You'd use the word muddle. That's right. So. so you end up with something that looks like that. Nice. And let's see. Put a little bourbon in there, get the ice in there. Is the bourbon going? Not yet. Not okay, sure. so the ice is going in. This is a cooking demo like like none I've ever had. And then a little measuring. So you put a couple of those in. A couple or one or two. Depending how much you like. Depending on it. These aren't bourbon. terribly strong. I know it looks like a lot of bourbon. Once you put the ginger beer in it, it's actually very smooth. They're it not, is. They're not very heavy. And it's nice because you can make it sweeter. You can make it... Um, so the person's asking you how measuring. We are measuring. I mean, that was what? What's what's that measurement? Uh, that's about an ounce, a little <laughs> bit more than an ounce. Um, so two ounces, right? Because we did two. Yeah, that's so right. Two ounces. You can make it. You can make it less weak if you yeah. want, um, and you can make it sweeter. You can put more strawberries in. You can do whatever you like. Take a take a shot. I don't think we'll be. I don't think we'll be. But we will. But we will be raising our glasses. Raising our glasses to all of you. Wait. Wait. Oh, okay, there you go. Uh, okay, we haven't had any yet, I swear. Mmm. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. We'll be making more of these animal-friendly cocktails with animal names. I love that we can do a whole theme yeah. of just animal-named cocktails. Wouldn't that be fun? And, of course, before I go, do you think... Oh, they're gone. There's no cats. There's their little, there's their little eating nook, but there's no cats. I was hoping Charlie would be able to make to make a little appearance. Maybe not. Okay. Say goodbye. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody. Yay. Got little hearts. You got some hearts. All right. Well. Alcohol, alcohol doesn't have any animal byproducts. Nope. Make some lean next time. Wait, what's lean? I don't get it. Lean, uh, what is that? I thought I heard lean in the context of margaritas where you don't do any, um, you wouldn't do any uh, triple sec or whatever the... You mean like the the mixer? Yeah. Can um, the person who asked me to do it lean next time tell me what lean means? What is, yeah, what is lean? You said it, everyone's leaving because I said goodbye. I'm just going to have to just, um, going to have to look it up on the interwebs. All right, you can do that. All right, well... We'll make it lean next time, even though we don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Bye.